Hey, name tags, and welcome back. This is Ash from Hill My PC 99. Look what I've got the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. We're gonna put this bad boy into this bad boy, which is the AMD FX 8350. Let's do this. Sorry, guys, I can't do an unboxing for you because, as I like mentioned before, this is an actual um, cooler which I pulled up from a different system. Let's go through the parts which we have. So, start with the actual cooler, the fan, the AMD standoffs. The nut setter, four nuts, rubber pads, four fan screws, the retention bracket, the back plate, two fan brackets, and these standoffs are for Intel, which is the LGA 2011, and we're not going to use this for this build, and some thermal paste from Cooler Master. This case, as you can see, has a nice cutout and I can see my back plate, which I can remove. Be mindful that your case may not have a cutout in the right place or big enough for you to be able to work with it. In which case, you're going to have to take your motherboard out and work on it. Step one, we need to remove this stock cooler. So unplug the CPU pin. Undo the plastic retention tab. The bracket kind of came off. There's one on the other side, make sure it's off. Now, I would advise you to give it a little nudge side to side before you pull it off. I have pulled off the cooler before and the CPU also came with it, which meant I bent some pins. Now, not, not on this build, but on a different build. Okay, so give it a little nudge to loosen it, just in case the thermal paste has cemented. There you go, that's kind of loose and now it comes off easily. There we are. Thermal paste, which we need to wipe off, and the CPU down there. Brilliant, you can put that on the side. Step two is we need to undo these screws. One, two, three, four. Screwdriver. I said you can remove the stock bracket. Put that aside. Now will be a good time to give this thermal paste a good wipe. There you go, so the stock back plate can come off and put it on the side. Step three, we're going to install the back plate and uh, you're going to need the AMD standoffs, four of them, the nuts, you're going to need the nut setter to tighten and probably going to need a star American screwdriver, maybe a plier. So this back plate is compatible with both AMD and Intel. This is the AMD side, the funny looking shaded one. And this is the Intel side. So the AMD side, we're going to use one, two, and three, four holes. Turn this way. And they're going to be fitting through there. We're going to use one of these standoffs on the other side. And I'm going to use one of these nuts to secure it. So let me see if I can do that without dropping anything. If you need to get help from someone, do that. It's a little bit tricky. It can be a bit awkward. There you go. I've got one. What I would advise you is to do diagonal installation first second nut skew and you may want to use the nut setter to tighten it screwdriver might come in handy <coughs> and you got all four done so on the other side the four AMD standoffs are now secured Onto the retention plate, which has about three settings. Now, this is the correct orientation. Sorry, this is the correct orientation. This is not for AMD, and this would be wrong. Can you see this? Wrong. Correct. Also, these clips have three settings. You have to the right, to the left, Complete to the left, center, and right. 
Now for this build, for AMD, we need to push it up and into the center. Make sure you do that. The cooler is going to go in this way. Is the logo. It's going to go down that way. And uh, there's a little notch there. Which we're going to use to secure this retention bracket in there. You actually need to open it up to be able to insert it through and then we put it back in the position which I showed you earlier there's a little groove in which this sits in you can see that that sits in there this is how we look now make sure there will be a plastic sleeve that you need to peel off and if needed, give that a good wipe with alcohol. Time for some thermal paste. Apply a pea-sized. Don't overdo it. Less is more. Grab your cooler with the retention bracket already in place and lower it down over the standoffs and start securing one screw at a time. I would advise you to do diagonal screws. You may want to use the nut setter to tighten it any further if needs be. Like I mentioned before, I already installed the fan brackets on the fan. So I'm going to show you on this side. Now, I hope you can see this. These are the fan brackets. There are one, two, three, four pads, which are used obviously to reduce the vibrations. And uh, I've got four more pads. And two more fan brackets, which technically means I could install this fan as a push and another fan here as a pull it would be push pull obviously you could use these two extra backets so let me show you what you should do I'm going to use the other side as an example brackets will go this way obviously on the other side I'm going to use these four fan screws and just going to screw it in obviously I'm not going to go through the motion because I'm just showing you what you would do on the other side and after you've screwed that properly in you're going to use one of these uh, rubber pads and to securely put it on there right okay as you can tell my cooler is not that brand new so there's a little bit of dust in there but anyway shouldn't make much of a difference now grab your fan which you assembled as I showed you earlier and uh, make sure you check for the orientation of your CPU header in my case it's gonna go down this way I think yeah so we're gonna plug it this way and just make sure you snap it at the edge on one side be careful, it's a bit sharp, you might hurt yourself. And snap it until you hear a click and it's snapped into place. And remember to also plug in your CPU fan connector. There you go, guys. So your uh, Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master is installed. So we're just going to quickly boot it up, just turn the power on. And hopefully should be some movement and some fan spinning let's see yep I can see movement quite happy okay we're gonna test the temperature and the fans noise level not bad 38 degrees at almost full load 93% so yeah quite happy with that once again guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My PC 99 and this was how to install the Cooler Monster Hyper 212 Evo. 
give me a thumbs up dislike comment share and remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos coming in the near future until next time peace out